Today I'll show you the easiest free way to create an endless carousel like this on Figma in just 5 minutes. I'll do everything step by step so that even a non-technical person can follow. So before we start this tutorial, make sure you have your carousel images ready and you are signed in to your Figma account. On my Figma dashboard, you can see that I've already imported 5 different images related to this dummy website. And I'll place my carousel in this grey area right here. Now the first step is to select all the images, right click and choose frame selection to create a group. Let's rename this as slider. Now to make sure that all our images are inside the frame, I'll select this frame, drag it like this and resize the bounds to match the size of the first element. If I select clip content in the right sidebar, any elements flowing out of this frame will not be visible. Here, you can see that the dimensions of this image matches the size of the rectangular area on the website template perfectly. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, so I'm guessing you are running a website too. And if you are using WordPress, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. Great. Now comes the interesting part. In order to slide these images, we need to create five copies of this and move images to the left one by one so that our next image is visible in this frame. I'll go ahead and make five copies of this. Just copy the frame and paste it five times like this. To avoid confusions and errors, always rename your components from here like this. Remember I told you to slide images to the left inside the frame? We'll do that now. So I'll select the second frame and uncheck clip content from here and slide the second image in the center like this. Once done, go here again and click on clip content. Now I'll do the same thing for the remaining frames and once done, it will look something like this. Awesome, our slider is ready. Now the next part is very important because it creates a foundation for the prototype. Basically, we are going to combine these frames and let Figma know that these frames are one set and after we add prototype to it, it will automatically create a slide effect on this set, hence creating a carousel. So I'm going to select these five frames, go on top, click on this icon and hit create component set. Next on the right side, I'll click here on the prototype tab to open the prototype dashboard and then select the first slider component. Now I'm going to drag this plus icon to the second one and you'll get this animation menu pop up. As this carousel is going to be automatic, we need to change this setting. So I'll click on click and choose after delay option from this drop down. Here I need to decide how long my image should stay. So for subtle stay, I'll put this number for now. Next. I'll change instant to smart animate and set the transition time to 500. From this frame, I will drag the plus icon to the next frame like this. In the animation window, I will change interactive to after delay, put the same number as before, then change instant to smart animate and transition to this. Let's do the same thing for this frame as well. Drag this plus icon Change on click to after delay, put a delay here, change instead to smart animate again and then transition time to 500. Awesome. Now for the last frame, things will be a little bit different. After the last image, I want my first image to reappear so that it becomes a loop and carousel keeps sliding infinitely. So I'll drag this plus icon and move it to the first component like this. I'll apply the same interactive details here as well. Cool, our component set is now ready and each of these frames are linked together. Now let's place this beautiful slider on our homepage. I'll head to the assets tab and under local components, we have our final component. So I'll drag this component to the website layout and place it here in the center like this. Perfect. Now let's see how this will appear as the final output. I'll go on top and click on this icon to preview it. Go here on the right and click fit to screen. Okay, this looks good. Images are sliding fine. The delay is fine too. And yeah, loop works perfectly. Comment below if you are loving this Figma tutorials and give it a like if you found this helpful. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.